Today's video is literally going to be about nothing. Uh, <laughs> going to the booth at one of a kind in Woodstock to pick up an Etsy order situation and bring some surprise bags, maybe stop at a thrift store. Um, yeah. Oh, I will be coming home and doing some small business finance stuff since uh, it's 2023 now and it's getting to that time. So come and do nothing with me today. <laughs> I have just worked up a freaking appetite. I went thrifting across the road and I planned to take a video of it all, but it was too much of a gold mine to get any content. Like it was just like grab and go, grab and go, grab and go, because there was so many good things. And then I got like this table that required like all of my attention and hands. So I didn't get any content, but once I get to one of a kind, I will show you what I got. Um, I'm pretty excited about it, but I'm also really excited about the food I'm about to get because I'm starving. <clears throat> Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Making sure the coast is clear. Okay, so anyone who knows the Kitchener Waterloo area, I went thrifting and picked this all up at the New Hamburg thrift store, MCC Thrift to be exact, and it's a banger. I got a lot of stuff for surprise bags uh, that will go in the booth, but I also got some like random large items that I'll post on my Instagram. So I got this uh, cake platter. It was like fairly expensive, but it's just beautiful. And on top of that though, I got a, like, a second one that's smaller. So like if you really wanted, you can stack it or they're just beautiful. I wouldn't say they're like jadeite, I don't even know if they're like green milk glass. I honestly don't know what material it is exactly. So if you have an idea, let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm super hyped about those. <laughs> I also got this for like surprise bag. At first I'm just like, okay, it's just like a jar, but there's just something about it. So it's actually old. It does have like um, a mark on the bottom. Um, and it's just, there's just something so, beautiful about this that I love so shout out whoever gets that you're a lucky one <clears throat> I got this it's a black glass actually blown um, because you can see the mark on the bottom and I just black glass is like hard to find anyways very beautiful just like a brass pot for a surprise bag <clears throat> I'm like really becoming a huge fan of crystal right now. This giant bowl for a surprise bag it's just like has a lot of weight to it and I just think it's like so beautiful as like a dish for trinkets or keys or whatever. <clears throat> Two green glass bowls with uh, marks on the bottom. Prairie View, Illinois. <clears throat> Illinois. I got this beautiful little blue vase and it has etching right up here for a surprise bag. This pottery little vase for a surprise bag. Um, more, so someone clearly had like a collection of green glass um, and there's like a stamp on the bottom. Europa? Europe? I have no idea. Anyways, there's a bunch of stamps on the bottom. Thick green glass. I actually love that one. Another one, um, another more stamps on the bottom <clears throat> for a surprise bag. Then I also got this milk glass. There's something about this one that I loved for a surprise bag. Um, <clears throat> see if I can take the price off of this so you can properly see it. Okay. Ah. Okay. <clears throat> I can't take the price off so you can properly see it. But no, where's it? Oh God. I honestly almost left it behind, um, but then I looked even closer and it's a real, oh my gosh. <laughs> then I looked even closer and it's a real watercolor sketch. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that 
I'll just give you a moment. I love it. Oh, Jesus. I <laughs> oh my God. I love it so much. <clears throat> so that's going to be for my personal collection, I think. And then to top it all off, I found this table. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't look like much. My car's a mess, but look at the base. <gasps> it's so pretty. I'm very happy with that. Anyways, those are my finds. I'm going to run inside now, stock things up, and let's see how it goes. Okay, I am back in the booth. I just did like a little refresh. I honestly came here to pick up one thing. So I'm sorry, there's really not that much to show you. <laughs> so fun fact about um, anything taxidermy, anything that's not naturally like found. So like antlers naturally shed by the deer is fine to sell. But in Ontario, you cannot sell anything um, taxidermy related. So my antlers have to have a not for sale sign on them. <clears throat> these, these ones. And then I have a big set up here. If you've ever wondered why you don't see very many Ontario-based antique booths or shop owners posting taxidermy, it's because it's illegal here. Um, they have to be gifted, but um, so if you do want one, uh, <laughs> I have these antlers, but they're not even real, they're resin. So if you like the antler look, but you don't want real antlers, there's these. All right. This is what I came to pick up. I came all the way to Woodstock, which is about 40 minutes plus away from my house just to pick this up because I'm an idiot and I have some of my Etsy product listed that's also in my booth at the same time. And because I don't have faith in myself and I didn't think anything would sell on Etsy, uh, <laughs> I've been like running back and forth. So this time I just, this time I just grabbed like a bunch of Etsy stuff that people have in their baskets just in case. Downstairs lights. Thank you. 
still have so much more to go, but it's a start. I hand wrote my Instagram sales. I just have so much more finances to do, but I'm not gonna bore you with it because it's also gonna take days and it's gonna take numerous hours. So thank you for watching this video about nothing and um, wish me luck on getting everything ready for tax season. <clears throat> I am so tired of my, my hand is like cramping so much from writing. What are you doing, Toast? <laughs> <laughs> I just got this chair yesterday actually, so she's probably giving it a sniff test. <laughs> That's all for me. Thank you so much for watching and sticking through it all. <laughs> Bye.